Watching TV illegally at this property could lead to severe penalties. Oh, scary. Yeah, it's me again. And I've got a new TV license letter for us to take a look at. Yeah, you know I love doing videos about the TV license letters. And the main reason for that is because a lot of people who get the letters haven't watched any of my videos before, but they're looking online for advice about it and they stumble across my videos and they like it because I help break it all down and I make it not scary. And that's what I plan to do with this letter. So if you've received a letter at the top that says, urgent, watching TV illegally at this property could lead to severe penalties, watch this video and I'm gonna break it down for you so you understand what it's all about and what you can and can't do. But let's have a read of this letter first before we break it down. The TV Licensing Enforcement Division has now been scheduled to visit this property. We have had to take this action because this address has been unlicensed since earlier in 2020, and we have sent at least five reminders to this address since then, but our database shows that you have not responded. So that's the first paragraph of this letter, and we're gonna break it down because to somebody who doesn't understand how TV licensing work, most of you normal people out there, this might sound pretty scary. So let's break it down. So the first line was, the TV Licensing Enforcement Division has now been scheduled to visit this property. First of all, there are no visits going on at the moment because of the current health crisis. Yes, the visits might start again in the future. I would imagine they will. I couldn't tell you when. But if you tell them you don't need a TV license, you're probably going to get a visit. If you just blank them and stop paying for your TV license, you're probably going to get a visit. The only way to not get visits is to pay for a TV license. If you don't want to pay for your TV license, odds are one day you're going to get a visit. And it's dead simple how to deal with one of the visits. And I will tell you more about that later in the video, so stick with it. Right, the next bit said, we have had to take this action because your address has been unlicensed since the certain date. We have sent at least five reminders to this address since then, but our database shows that you have not responded. Now, if you've chosen to stop paying for your TV license purposely, or you've just let it lapse and you've forgotten all about it, or you can't afford it, they're gonna send you loads of letters saying, you must respond to us and you must buy our thing that we want you to buy. It's nonsense, you do not. There is no rules anywhere that says you have to respond to these people. You are perfectly within your rights to throw their letters in the bin. And most people who are unlicensed and choose like myself to not pay the TV license, we throw the letters away. Not me, I make videos about them, obviously. But mostly they just throw them away because they understand they're just empty threats and a nonsense. There is no law that says that you have to reply to their letters. So don't, just let them keep spending on the postage, it's their problem. But the main part I wanna talk about is the big writing at the top. Watching TV illegally at this property could lead to severe penalties. Now because of these letters, many people think that you can't have a TV in your house without having a TV license. And it's complete and utter nonsense. I've got a TV in every room of my house. I watch TV all day long. I watch Channel 3, Channel 4, Channel 5. I watch Sky Channels. I've got Netflix on all the time. I watch loads of TV and I do not have a TV license. How do I do it? Well, it's perfectly legitimate. You just can't watch anything as it's being broadcast and you can't use BBC iPlayer. Other than that, you can watch anything. You can watch ITV Hub, so you get all your ITV shows. You can watch Channel 4 on demand, Channel 5 on demand. All the Sky channels are available on demand through Now TV. You can watch Netflix, Amazon, Prime, Disney Plus. It's endless. And I've made a video on this, so take a look above and it will explain to you everything you can watch without a TV license. Do not be misled by this letter that says watching TV illegally at this property could lead to severe penalties because you can watch probably 90% of the stuff you would watch anyway without a telly license. So take a look at the video. I'll put the link below for it as well in case that thing doesn't come up. And you can watch that, okay? Right, let's move on to, uh, to the next paragraph. The law states that you need a TV license to watch or record programs as they're being shown on TV or live on an online TV service or to download or watch BBC programs on demand including Catch Up TV on BBC iPlayer. Now it looks to me actually quite good news here because it looks like they've changed some of the wording because before in some of the letters they were saying you can't watch Amazon Prime or ITV Hub, which you can without a TV license, as long as you don't watch anything live on there, you can. But it looks like they've taken that off of this one, so that's good, and they are telling it straight. You can't watch anything as it's being shown on TV or use BBC iPlayer, that's it. But, you know, you can watch anything else. ITV Hub, Channel 4, I said all that before. Take a look at the video that I put above earlier. Right, what else does this say? 
If an officer finds that you are watching, recording or downloading programmes illegally, you will be interviewed under caution in accordance with national criminal law and may risk a fine up to £1,000 plus legal slash compensation costs, your overdue licence fee and your next licence fee. So if you've chosen now to be free of the TV licence, you don't want to pay it anymore and you've started getting these letters and you're worried about a visit, let's talk about what happens if you get a visit. Okay, It says here you'll be interviewed under caution by, um, how, what do they refer to them as, an officer. Oh, scary. Calling them an officer makes you think police. They dress a bit like them in a black and white with a tie and some of them wear stupid vest things to look authoritative. They are not, okay? So if you do get a visit by one of these people, just remember the simple fact that they are door-to-door salespeople. That's all they are. They're there to try and sell you a product. If you don't want to buy the product from them, they can try and get you a fine and make their commission that way. So really, really, really simple how to deal with these. You deal with them in the same way you would deal with someone who knocked on your door trying to sell you a knockoff vacuum cleaner. You close the door. So don't hide in your own house. If you want to open the door, do feel free. Or you can just shout through the door, say, who are you? Say, TV license, and you go put the kettle on, blank them. You can do that if you want. But if you want to open your door, because it's your house, then you should be able to open your door whenever you want, shouldn't you? I open the door, and you say, who are you? And you say, hello, I'm from TV licensing, you haven't got a license, blah, blah, blah. Do not talk to them. Don't say anything to them apart from, no, thank you, and you close the door. That's it. Do not speak to them. No good can come from it. Even if you're being completely legit and only watching the things you should watch, do not talk to them. There's a lot of evidence out there they can stitch people up. So do not talk to them, okay? Get the door shut. They may ask you to sign something, so that, and then they'll say, oh, you just sign this and I'll leave. Do not sign it. And the most important thing is never, ever let them into your house. Ever. They've got no right to be there. They're not official. They've got no right to be in your house. No good can come from it. Okay. So it's that simple. You want to be license free, you're going to get a few letters. You can bin them. If someone knocks on your door, it's no thank you, mate. You get the door shut and you save what's going to be 159 quid a year. Done. Easy. And you're free of the BBC. You're not funding that awful organisation with your own money anymore. And you do not need to be scared of these letters. Now, as I mentioned earlier, I have done loads of videos about the TV licence letters and about loads of stuff about what you can watch without a TV licence and how to handle it and how to phone them up and how to do all this stuff. And you'll find it all on my YouTube channel and you'll find the links to that below. Just click the little picture of me and it will take you to the channel or there's links and stuff. You can click all of that stuff. While you're down there, don't forget to hit the subscribe button, don't forget to hit the like button, and all the other stuff people on YouTube always say. And I will see you in another video again soon. Thank you for watching. Well, before you go, I just want to mention that down below there are some links to my Amazon store, which is all the products that I personally recommend that you use to watch telly without a license. They're all products I've used personally. I don't recommend anything I haven't got personal experience of. Also, while you're down there, you'll find links to T-shirts, and mugs and I've got more designs coming every week as I update it all and every penny that you spend obviously I get a little bit of commission from that and that goes to keeping my website tvlicensestop.co.uk live which helps hundreds of people every week to cancel their TV license and I offer free advice to all the OAPs and everyone through that website who needs a bit of help with the TV licensing and you can be a direct part of helping to support that just by clicking the links below and buying stuff you probably would have bought anyway apart from the t-shirts, but you should buy a t-shirt. I'm going to start wearing them once I get the samples through. But yeah, sorry, didn't mean to take up any more of your time. You can go now. Bye-bye.